Clarence, are you speaking to Chelsea manager Robbie Simpson after the defeat here at Ebsley? Robbie, what were your thoughts after that loss tonight? Um, undeserving, really. I thought first half we were outstanding. I think we were 95% performance. Um, not many teams will come here and dominate the ball like we did, especially in that first half. And probably the story of our, our season, really. We, we need to score when we're on top. Um, you know, they've keepers made two good saves. They've cleared two off the line. Um, I thought we showed tremendous bravery on the ball um, and bravery off it as well to play as high as we did. And like I say, I think we were we were 95 percent there in the first half and. Listen, they're a good team full of good players and they're going to have occasions where they might open us up um, and there was just two moments really that I can remember in that first half where we didn't have the bravery um, and to play like we did today you have to show bravery otherwise it just won't work and there was probably two occasions where we didn't and, and we were probably for the goal um, we were a bit too honest, or individuals were a bit too honest trying to help their teammate out rather than demanding more of them and and leaving their man free with too much space. And having said that, even though we did leave them a bit too much space, they moved the ball very quickly for that goal. Um, and they ran hard into a great area and, and it was a really good finish with conviction. And it, it, it kind of showed us what, what we're missing to be honest with you that final little bit um, of I, I, I likened it to they were making runs into good areas demanding the ball to be played which which meant that the pass that final pass or the one before the final pass was a good one whereas I think we're maybe making runs hoping that the ball comes to us and then that means the person on the ball maybe doesn't think that you actually believe you can get there so he, he, he maybe doesn't have that conviction um, and that's probably where we've been for a lot this season barring a few games where I thought we have been clinical um, but yeah they gave us a warning where, where Eddie's made a good save um, and then and then they scored their goal but other than those two moments, and they've had a few sort of half half chances, but other than those two moments, they didn't really cut us open. Um, and I thought that we we won the ball high up the pitch and, and carved them open a couple of times, and and were just unable to to have that finishing finishing bit of quality or, or conviction. And and the second half was a bit more even, to be honest with you. We weren't quite as good, but they they changed. They they really pressed us and hounded us, um, and we went a bit long too too quickly in that sense we we needed to show a bit more braver on the ball that actually yeah you're pressing us but that, that means there's more space and I'm going to stay on the ball uh, and not rush my pass and I'm going to find a claret shirt and, and then find the next one and work our way through them and, and beat the press that way we kind of went not too much but we just went slightly too long too early um, and I always felt that we we're in the game and I could feel that their bench as the game went on was 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 trying to settle for a one nil and and then we've given away an awful awful second goal. I mean it's a terrible corner from them and it's it's managed to find one of their players free in the middle of the goal. So listen, I know I know it was a late goal, but you, we would have gone right to the death and and that second goal's really killed the game. Um, but yeah, I think if if this performance in general, like I said, I don't think many teams will come here and do what we did to them in, the, in that first half. And if that doesn't give us the belief of what a good team we are, then, then nothing will. Um, and that doesn't give them the license to be as brave as, as they can possibly be 100% of the game, not not 95, then, then nothing will. Um, so I've, I've told them that. They've shown today, for 95% of the first half, probably 70-80% of the second half, that they can be an absolutely amazing football team. Amazing football team. And, and I'm really pleased to say that. Um, but at the same time, we, we have to get what we deserve. You know, football's about getting points on the board and 
performances don't get you points as, as probably what we, we found out last season performances don't get you points and I feel like we've got enough strong heads in that dressing room now to demand points from from performances like today um, so you know, go, going forward that, that is that is the be on all end though especially we're heading towards we're not quite in the business end of the season but we're heading towards the business end of the season where performances technically don't matter it's points on the board that matter and we need to have the mindset of I mean I always say I want us to improve and the performance does improve and big belief that performances will lead to points but when you get that performance you have to make sure you get the points and, and that's kind of where we're at at the minute and there's no Liam Trotter in the squads tonight who's been ever present this season so what was the what's the latest update on Liam <laughs> well yeah when he went clean through on goal on Saturday um, in the dying minutes he, he just felt a muscle strain so um, probably hope to get him a scan this week um, to see how bad it is and how long he'll be out for but he'll certainly be out for a week or two um, so yeah it's, it's, it's time for Arjun and, and Henry to step up and I thought they did that tonight I thought both of them were, were sensational gave us a lot of energy but also control along with Kai I thought Kai was fabulous um, but yeah we, we missed his presence and his experience of course and um, but like I say, those three, with the energy and the control that they gave us, um, it, it was pleasing. I thought we'd miss trots more than we did tonight. And I suppose the, the supporters were asking, how do we start scoring more goals and putting the ball in the next, especially away from home? We've sort of struggled to do that this year. I think we've only got 12 in 12 away in the league. So what's the? We've got a lot of talented strikers up there. What's the? What's the? The key to it in the net? I suppose. Yeah. We've been saying it all season, really. They need to show conviction. Need to show conviction. We're getting in great areas. We're getting the chances. Um, they need to put it in the back of the net. It's them individually, really. We can we can give them all the, the training and it, that they want, but in a match scenario, um, and, like, and like I say, in training, they are brilliant. Um, in the warm-up in games, they are brilliant at putting the ball in the back of the net. They can do it. They need to have the belief and conviction in a game to score because... Look, they, they know if you look at our goals conceded versus our goals scored compared to teams around us in the league, um, the goal scored hasn't hasn't been good enough, and that's down to them individually. When they get a chance, they need to put it in the back of the net. There's, there's no, I'm not, <laughs> I can't dress it up for them. Everybody knows that, that and they know. Um, but they need to do it because the rest of the team are, are doing their jobs, and, and they're doing their jobs in the build-up play. Um, but they're up there because they are goal scorers and they can score goals and they need to do it. And we've got a long trip down, almost the same distance to York as Weymouth uh, on Saturday. So they're sort of they're they're in the relegation zone, I think. But they've they've improved under a change in manager. So another a tricky, long away trip. Yeah, they're always going to improve. They went through a big change in the summer or towards the back end of last season really they went through a big change so it was always going to take them time to find their rhythm obviously they've they've changed the manager as well but um, they're always going to get better and better in my opinion and they, they had a bit of a resurgence and had a couple of difficult games recently but they can be a really good team on their day and I think they've shown that so we're going to have to be really good we're going to have to rest from, from today rest and recover um, get a good training session in us Thursday hit the back of the net a lot a lot of times Thursday um, and go into Saturday full of confidence especially after performance today we can go in there with with real confidence okay hard last night Simo and we'll speak to you again on Saturday cheers Ben thank you